Yes, so basically, uh, this is a follow up video to the one of them, you know, talking about VCRs. Um, I was mentioning that I had a Sony VCR, the picture quality on it wasn't very good. Um, it's not necessarily Sony's uh, uh, specific to a Sony drive, but uh, it's interesting insofar as I noticed on the actual video head uh, at the bottom of it there appears to be a little bit of damage. Um, and that may be the reason why uh, the video picture quality isn't what it should be. Uh, you might be able to see it there at the bottom. I'll just try to point to it. See here the black mark on the bottom here? That there seems to be damage to the actual physical head. Um, I was trying to clean that thinking it was just a bit of gunk. But um, it's uh, not making any difference. The picture quality is still shocking. Um, I also mentioned in the other video that this particular video recorder came with a self-cleaning video head. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically uh, show that to you now. Okay, so this is the uh, drive self drive self drive head cleaning head. Good God, now I still can't say this must be take fifteen at this stage. This is the this is designed basically to bump against the head, give it a quick clean, go up and down there and uh, you know help your videotape head stay clean longer um, but uh, obviously something has happened because uh, the video head itself is not only uh, dirty in some shape or form which I cleaned off but it also appears to have received a little bit of damage uh, so you know that's never good uh, zoom that back out so yeah I just removed the uh, two cables there that were one in the head and one was in the yeah the other we audio control see this down here I'm putting the, the wire into this little fella here is for audio playback so what I'll do is I will move it around this time rather than pause the video okay so this little fella here reads the audio coming off the videotape this fella here is purely for reading the video so this is where you get the thing of six heads four heads uh, on a videotape the more heads you have uh, I think it's only only need two heads to actually play back video um, but the more heads you have the better it is at playing back uh, for example, if you had a two, vi two head video recorder and you put a long play video cassette into it, it won't play back. It needs to have a minimum of four heads out of it. And I could be totally wrong on all this. I'm just, this is pure memory here. I haven't read anything. I'm just trying to go on memory here. So the four heads would allow you to play back the tape at a slower speed. Uh, the head still rotates the same speed, but the actual tape rotates at a slower speed. Um, so what happens then is the video head, because it has more, be able to get more detail off the tape as if it were, because it's able to record at a slower speed, it allows for the longer playing playback. So the more heads you have, the uh, you know the more more uh, length of tape you can squeeze into one tape. So you might have a tape that's 30 minutes long in standard play, becomes 60 minutes long in extended or long play, uh, and so on and so on. Um, I'm not too up on all that. I'm more here just to sort of show you the inside of the VCR, the bits that I know. Um, that's the audio reading head, that's the video reading head. Um, so over here, this fella here, this is the arrays head. So what happens is, <coughs> excuse me. So what happens is when the videotape is being played, it goes, it goes across these little beauties here. It comes up here, gets erased by that little beauty, goes back down again gets read by this little beauty and goes back into the video tape. Now I showed you on the other video, you know, what way you know the tape goes around all these little bits. They're basically the same in, in the majority of ECRs. There's, there's not going to be any difference because the standard was set and that's the way it was set. So inside this particular VCR, this is a, a stereo VCR, you know, and uh, that's a very interesting little story which I'll tell you now. Back in the day we had a Sanyo, I think it was Sanyo VCR, and I had a little problem with playing back sound. The sound wasn't playing back properly. We were getting mono sound out of the actual drive for some reason. So obviously it was a fault in somewhere. I don't know where because uh, I'm certainly not a, 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 I'm certainly not you know, capable of repairing these to any extent. Um, I could grease them up and do stuff with that, maybe replace a few parts, but diagnosis on this particular things, you know, like PCs, I could diagnose a PC because experience, you know, gets you down that road. Whereas lacking experience or the knowledge being a little bit of knowledge being a dangerous thing is exactly what can happen there. And because inside these machines is a, is a lot of power and it can kill you. This can kill. So anyway, <clears throat> we brought the, the VCR in for repair. And uh, basically it was a sort of a, a dark, you know, think of a dark, dark sort of a, a repair shop. You know, the, the guys are, are, are smoking a couple of uh, cigarettes. 
and uh, so it's smoky and they always got that you know, the engineers were always you know, hovering over the back of it you know and uh, locked on a TV and you know the, 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 the smell of smoke wafting out you know would, would nearly knock you flat but what was interesting was <clears throat> we were there talking to this technician about the fact that it was lack of stereo and this guy comes, in, comes out of the shadows and says stereo when in actual fact we were saying no stereo on the VCR he thought we meant stereo as in a stereo machine with that he reverses back slowly into the shadows and disappears and it was the most surreal thing ever. I was like, what the hell was that? You know? <laughs> anyway, we got the machine fixed and uh, it, it, it tends to work after that. Um, we had, I don't know whether it's still around or not, but uh, my father bought a second hand VCR back in the late 1980s, early 90s, I think. Um, I might know if I ever get my hands on it and take it apart. It is actually a Panasonic. VCR. And what's funny about the Panasonic, I don't mean funny, ha ha, I mean funny as an interesting funny, is on the back of the VCR, a bit like this baby, there's actually a skirt socket. So here we were with a TV that only accepted the, the only accepted these fucking stupid, you know, TV signals, UHF, VHF, whatever that flipping rubbish that was, um, which only accepted that. And yet we had a scarf, but we were like, what is this thing on the back of the machine? We didn't know what it was, we'd never seen it before. Because our old TV was an old Solora, so you know, you never would have seen it. So eventually when we upgraded the Solora TV to a Grundig, I think, I think it was a Grundig. And the Grundig had Nikon stereo, this is the big thing. The gas thing about the Grundig was, yes it had Nikon stereo, but it only had one speaker. So of course we thought, uh, why are we only getting uh, mono out of this TV? So, technician came down, had a look at the machine. And uh, you know all sorts of you know earphones and headphones and things stuck to his ears. You know stethoscopes to the TV, and then he just goes, "Well, you know, there's really only the one speaker in that." You know? And I probably would have thought it would have been quicker to do two uh, RTFM. If you don't know what RTFM is, leave a comment down below. Somebody might tell you. So uh, because probably in the manual of RTFM, <coughs> uh, it probably told you uh, that this machine only had the one speaker so it was going to be kind of impossible for any sound at all to be coming out of it so um, it was only later on we got the grunt that we basically were able to use the full facility of SCART and SCART is fantastic um, it can actually contain 5.1 channels of, of, of sound it can output a red green blue signal uh, which is uh, uh, red green there's two different there's a component and a composite so it can output S video via this baby. So it can actually separate the color like S video can. It can output just a pure composite signal. It can output 5.1 surround sound. Would you believe that? I don't think anybody ever implemented it, but maybe somebody did, I don't know. It can also um, output the red, green, blue uh, component and composite red, green, blue. There are actually two different differences there. Um, and on the KISS DVD player I have, it'll actually output the red, green, blue. If you ever see these in the back of a VCR or, a, or, a, or a, a DVD player, the red, green, blue, or the Blu-ray player, um, that output, uh, the, the KISS drive that I have, will actually output that signal via the SCAR, because the SCAR is capable of doing that. So I actually have an output from the SCAR coming from there and going into the back of um, the amp. That's what's known as component out. There's also red, green, blue for uh, SCART. Now red, green, blue for SCART um, is actually pretty good. So red, green, blue for SCART is SCART to SCART. So you may have a SCART socket on the back of your or VCR and you may have a SCART socket on the back of your television. Most VCRs aren't going to have it because just like Laserdisc, these babies are in an analog format. So the best signal you're going to get out of it is our, in VHS format is the same the yellow cable or use the SCART it's going to output up one of them the ports anyway. Uh, and if you have an S video video drive, your best picture is going to be from the S video out. But to get the best quality of picture, you're going to have to have recorded the original video in, you've guessed it, Super VHS. So, uh, anyway, that's the story in there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this short video because that's all it's going to be. And uh, that's eight minutes of me rambling. Um, I hope you enjoy this eight minutes of rambling and if you have any questions uh, please you know let me know and uh, yes for those of you who watch my videos to try find out more about computers yes I am going to be doing more of those videos 
um, it's just at the moment I just haven't been able to because I've had no place to put the big old dirty computers so uh, now I will soon have somewhere to put them so I'll be able to show you uh, some of those uh, machines and um, what I'm hoping to do is take apart uh, a couple of hard drives to be honest with you, some other stuff just to get us going and uh, I have an old video card there that's uh, broken so we'll, we'll take that cooler off it we'll have a look at the chip underneath I've never done that and uh, the video card's not working so feck it we'll do that and, and we'll have a look at it anyway until next time goodbye god bless and good night <laughs>